Welcome back, folks. This is Greg Silverman, your Outsource Chief Investment Officer, looking through the investment landscape, scouting around for you guys and gals. Uh, another article which did well over the last week that we're going to look at on a Come Learn With Me session. It has to do with uranium, and obviously uranium is an area where we have had special focus, thinking that nuclear energy would be a beneficiary of this uh, clean energy movement, even if nuclear is dirty in certain respects and uh, so we, we're certainly aware of that. Um, take a look at some of the links below. You'll see uh, some LinkedIn groups, many LinkedIn groups that we curate. They're investment focused and one of which is uranium or nuclear energy. Uh, this is a great website, Visual Capitalist. I love, uh, you know, the visual. I'm not, uh, sometimes I don't like to read too much, but uh, let's take a look at this. Uranium, the fuel for clean energy. Sky Harbor is a uh, small uranium company. So it is obviously sponsored by them. Let's see, what do they say about global demand for electricity is set to grow by 50% by 2040. The only baseload source of carbon-free, scalable, reliable, and affordable electricity, nuclear, will play a prominent role in meeting this growing. Okay. Um, actually, the uranium stocks all had a little pop this week, and I think that was on news that Japan was going to reopen its nuclear industry and actually build new nuclear reactor power plants, uh, reactor, nuclear power plant reactors. So that put a, a little bit of a surge in there. Nuclear power to backstop clean energy transition. Nuclear power plants are measured. Nuclear gener energy generation by country, the darkest being the most. So the US is still, well, Russia's part, China, South Africa. Yeah, there's a bit of text down here. So we're, I'm going to run through this real quick, right? We went through this before, so how energy efficient are the uranium pellets compared to, that's a good good chart. How many gallons of oil you need to generate the same amount of power? Nuclear power, also beach renewable sources like other key areas like CO2 life cycle emissions. Life cycle emissions, there's uranium, nuclear. very low in the emission scale. Of course, you do have that nasty little uh, radioactive material, which I still maintain should be shot out into space, into outer orbit, and maybe one day it'll be cheap enough to do it. The rising demand for uranium, there we go, ooh, yeah, steady. Several countries have uranium deposits, but not all are recoverable. Look at Australia, that is known as the Saudi Arabia. Oh, South Africa. I know Namibia, Southwest, formerly Southwest Africa has got some Good deposits, the uh, Lager deposit, I think it is. South Kazakhstan, I thought Kazakh Kazakhstan is one of the biggest, obviously. Uh, Canada, interesting. Canada's Athabasca region in Saskatchewan, Alberta is the highest grade uranium deposits in the world, which grade with grades that are 10 to 100 times greater than the average grade. Uh, obviously, I think. <laughs> That's where the Sky Harbor is doing their, their bit. Okay, let's read this real quick. Um, nuclear power to backstop clean energy transition. I guess we've gone through nuclear power plants produce no greenhouse gas emissions. They produce about the same amount of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions per unit of electricity as wind and one third emissions per unit with soap. Nuclear fuel is extremely dense. Minimal waste to power reactors. 160%. Several countries are going nuclear in a bit to reduce reliance on fossil fuels while building reliable energy grids. And they have, uh, thanks to, I think, Bill Gates and others, they have these uh, mini nuclear power plants now. Tons of uranium. Australia. Look at that. Highest grade uranium. Well, as we said, Saskatchewan. Sky Harbor. Well, there we go. I like the um, Visual Capitalist. I hope you guys check out their website from time to time. I love the uh, infographics they call. So it was really great. So if you want to know more about what we are doing in the uranium space and the uh, nuclear space, take a look at our mini LinkedIn group. Take a look at some of the other links down below and uh, feel free to reach out. We'd love to engage and to uh, answer any questions and have a chat. This is Greg Sildman, your Outsource Chief Investment Officer. Out for now.